Greetings and welcome back to Parkasaurus. I'm Catherine of Sky and I just noticed something on yesterday's uh, finish screen. We have four super happy dinos. So life is now very much better. Um, let's just check how many dinosaurs we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically we have eight happy dinosaurs and four of them are super happy. So we get an extra heart for each of those dinosaurs. So yes, life is getting better. So it seems like if we put in the extra effort to have more dinosaurs per pen um, and have the socialization up, uh, and stuff. I think they're going to be happier. I think this is much better for them. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with these animals. Um, let's see. They need more socialization, these guys, Triceratops. But is the pen big enough? It's 1350 feet and they need, come on, let's find out. They need 420. So I think if, oh, I, yeah, the poop. <laughs> That's such a funky thing. Um, anyway, I think that if we can, we can put one more Triceratops in here. And the same with the, um, these guys, Kentrosaurus. Let's see what we have in our cage here. Is this a Triceratops? Yeah, okay, so we'll put this animal here. Let's put him on the hill there. Okay, he'll be fine. Um, and then we'll rename him and we'll have him in our, in our place here. So this, this dinosaur we're going to name after another patron. We're going to call, um, let's see, what are you? You are a male dinosaur. So let's, and, and this is just going to be totally random here. We're going to name you a uh, character. C-H-A-R-I-C-K-T-E-R. Welcome character. And thank you very much for being my patron. Thank you to all of my patrons um, because you make my life better. Uh, anyway, so character, welcome to the Triceratops pen. I hope you are not quite angry for being in a, in a box all this time, but I want to see how many dinosaurs we need for a happiness factor of a lot, a social factor, um, because obviously we would want to have maximum social factor. Hey, how come you aren't happy? Are we are we not playing enough with the balls? Do we need more balls? Let's let's buy a ball. Uh, we'll buy another ball for these guys to have like three balls. Uh, there we go. Toys. Let's put another one over here. Okay. And they can play with that. All right, great. Uh, so I want to see if it's three or is it four? Because if it's four, then we need to make this pen quite a bit bigger. And we need to move these guys over, I think. So that's going to be an important consideration when we get to it. Now then, we were working on this pen over here for our another new dinosaurs. Um, the Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Oh, God. Parasaurolophus. I'm sure there's a better way to pronounce it, but I don't know what it is right now. So um, <laughs> we're just going to go with this. Uh, these guys want a tundra biome so we're almost there we just need a little bit of wetness um and that that should be pretty easy to do so let's go ahead and add some water around here we're going to add it in little pools around the place um so that we can keep some trees and stuff alive that's quite important oh dear okay hold on all right that's turned into something very interesting there um, I also have not put in the shelters yet, which is going to be important. Okay, we're right almost in the center of tundra. We could use a little bit more ruggedness, perhaps. Let's go ahead and get some of that up. There, oh, as you can see it, leaping along there, right in the center now. I'm going to put in the dinosaur houses first. And we want the fun one because it seems like they have a really hard time getting enough fun going on. So we'll add one there. That might be too close to this. We can always extend the privacy fence a little bit. Um, but if we're going to have four, um, four uh, large dinosaurs, we need at least, I think, two bed places, two, two houses for them, rock shelters uh, to sleep and chill. I don't know how many we need. Maybe we, we need less. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so that's that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we also should hatch these dinosaurs as soon as possible. Um, these guys are very cute. Oh, wow. Okay. I shouldn't have done all of them at once. These are Shantungosauruses. Oh, my God. They're funny looking. Aren't they cute, though? Hi. How you doing? Oh, they love each other. Oh, that's so friendly. 
Oh, there they go. Oh, one has black spikes. Okay, so you're a, a male and you are a male and you are a female. Okay, so Gertrude, I think we're going to call you instead. You're going to be Ashley Devoid. Uh, Devoid. Thank you, Ashley, for being uh, my patron. Um, all right, so then you, this is Leopold, that's his, um, not, not that, yeah, anyway, you are going to be Badgerine. All right, welcome Badgerine and welcome Ashley to the dinosaur enclosure. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, <laughs> you are going to be, oh no, 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 the other one, the other one that doesn't have a name yet. Yes, you Hudson. All right, you are going to be Dr. F. All right. Thank you, Dr. F, for being my patron. And oopsies, I pressed A and S to move around, but um, yeah. You know what we need? We need a door. <laughs> I forgot to put a door so our dinosaurs have no, no way to get food. So um, let's do that first. Let's also create a food thingy majingy uh, because I think, you know what? In fact, I'll put um, uh, one should be enough, actually. I think we should also hire a... Uh, another ve um, vegetarian veterinarian <laughs> yes okay so that they can be happy so they can uh, they can eat stuff because we need another person to take care of them uh, here we go let's go resumes and hire a veterinarian all right personality speed ability oh this looks buzzle hoof oh, what an interesting name all right you're gonna be hired come come and work please anyway mm -hmm. did we go to make another portal Oh gosh, shoot. Let's open a port portal quickly. Um, so we can have it by the end of the day, I hope. We'll see. But, uh, oh, we're back on the other side again. All right. These guys should be fine. I want to move this tree because I do not want to add more water. Let's just shove it uh, maybe near here so that it's near the water. So this enclosure, enclosure should be almost ready. I think I'm going to just add a door here maybe uh i think i'm not sure if how it works like do the um caretakers have to get food from outside like do they get it here or do they they don't have to bring it i think it's just in my backpack right and they just feed them all right well i'm gonna put the door here nevertheless um and put the feeder here as well okay so you know what? I forgot to look. I forgot to look if these guys... I, no, they are vegetarian because they're under the, the green stuffs. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and build another feeder here. Put it right next to the door. And also in front of the fence so that people can watch. Oh my god, this guy is donating money for... Thank you. Or a person uh, wearing a dress, probably a girl. Uh, Relici. Looking for dinosaurs in an exhibit. She likes Ankylosauria. Oh dear. Yeah, we need, we definitely need more decorations and stuff along this whole pathway here. I might even make like some, maybe a food thing here, a short one and another food thing here. Maybe some like planter boxes or something along there. Uh, oh, let's put these other animals in here. Tundra, medium. Oh, we haven't added the plants yet. That's unfortunate. Right. Um, so yeah, let's get our trees going real quick if we can. We'll go with cypresses. No, well, I kind of want it to match this one. So we'll go with those kind of similar trees as to over there. As over there. Should pardon me. One must be careful how one speaks. So one doesn't get the wrong impression. All right, 11,000 money from exhibit donations. That's incredible. That's really good. I am surprised that the food and drink sales are not higher. Um, that's kind of odd to me, but that's eh, okay. It's fine five super happy dinos this is great um we need to find out why one dino in a, a cage is is super happy but the others are not oh well we have now issues with these trees not being close enough to water so we'll probably add some water there let's find out are you guys happy how you doing they have no fun happening oh god they have, it looks like, I wonder if they need another companion. These guys also need another companion. So I'm thinking we probably need to just increase the size of that exhibit. And I'm guessing that they need this amount of space each, 490 feet per each animal, not just 
490 and you can put as many as you want. Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's dig it. We'll just hurry with this. Okay. Kind of like to have more time on this, but I'm also just, I don't want to waste the park day dealing with this stuff and Okay, there we go. Oopsies. There we go. Money. Good. Money's good. Return home. Open portal. Good. Okay, so we should have one by the end of the day as well. Alright, so Jam Dunk the Kentrosaurus is here. And it's not supremely happy. They need more stuff. They have fun, but I think they need another animal. Is this a Kentrosaurus that I have? No, it's a Styracosaurus. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and deal with those in a bit. Let's just finish these exhibits first. Um, I'm probably horrible by not like doing those things ahead of time, but it'll be fine. One thing at a time. Money is important. <laughs> No, actually, the animals are, should be the most important thing. But um, at the moment, I'm being a little bit lazy on that end. All right, um, let's go ahead and do our scenery tiles. And we'll kind of match the other ones that we had. I want to go and grab this enclosure information thingy. So there we go. It's quite nice trees. Lovely. I like those. And even a couple of dead trees, small ones around here. Cool. And we have enough uh, bushes. We can have more ferns, maybe, because we have a lot of um, ruggedness going on here. Okay. And we'll have a few reeds, maybe, by the... Uh, by the ponds, because reeds, as we know, they only grow near ponds. They don't grow anywhere else. <clears throat> yes. Anyway, rocks. Let's go with the rocks. Just have some, like, red crystals. Also leaving a few little spaces for... Um, grass, which we haven't put in yet. I haven't put the grass in, and I should have already. But it's okay. It works. Also trying to spread out these rocks just in case like the animal needs to walk around and see rocks everywhere so that they're not like all in a chunk somewhere. There we go. Okay, it's perfect. It is very, very nice. 1700 feet square, which should be plenty enough for most dinosaur species. Um, we're going to test this and see if these three are going to be happy. Wow. Look at how happy Ashley is. And Dr. F, they're all super happy. This is great fantastic um so they're going to be added to our super happy list no doubt um okay so let's go and get privacy tiles there with some grass here so that they can hide a little bit and be a little bit sneaky be happy okay our expedition has arrived in the portal room good 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 but just add some of this grass here and there and um there we go nice cool a little bit over here maybe Oh, this is nice. Our animals are going to be so excited about this. All right, let's go ahead and put them down. All right, tundra. Yes, this is the right ones. We'll, we'll put them in the grass so that they can hatch in privacy and see. All right, then the other one we have is a Styracosaurus biome alpine. All right, there we go. That's looking good. Oh, look at how cute they are. Oh, my. They're so excited. So, okay, so they can be... The, so the color is not necessarily indicative of gender for the animals. That's good to know. All right, good. So we have things happening. Um, one of the things is I want to make sure the exhibit is big enough for all the animals because each of them has a little bit of different requirements versus how many we need in the cage to fulfill the social aspect. So if we need to make this bigger... I'll, I'll make it bigger, but I don't 
want to like totally box it in with other constructions like food courts and stuff until we actually get to that point uh, where we know how many we need and stuff. Okay, cool. How are we doing, guys? Are we are okay? Oh, science is progressing quite rapidly, I have to say. Oh, look. Ah, you're so nice, dinosaur. You're so cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you doing? You are filling small vegetarian feeder. Okay, so you're going there. You picked a piece of fruit from there? Or maybe he just took it out of his inventory there, possibly. Oh, he comforts babies and heals dinos, resets the toys. Okay, right. I never really looked at the uh, task list for these guys before. That was very cute. Um, okay, cool. So I think we'll have probably, I like that idea of having maybe some light strings going along this entire pathway. Um, maybe some benches in here and just have like a long, maybe a whole like a boulevard going this way, all the way from over here. You know, so if they go this way, they can go around this way, but then there's going to be like the central corridor possibly going along here. I think that's a good idea. I think we'll do that. Okay, let's go ahead and make the pathway then this way and uh, connect that up with this area. Okay. We will just go ahead and connect these guys and see and kind of organize this pathway. I need to delete this piece of fence there. It's kind of not quite path or tile, plants or rocks. Let's destroy this. Yes, delete. Okay, cool. I kind of like that you can do that and you can remove only specific things if you want to. That's quite useful. Okay, let's just delete this. Yes. And then this thing we can move to, I don't know, here for now. All right, so how do we want to do this boulevard? That seems like a good idea. It seems like we could also put in some food places. Now the food places seem to be, let's just take a fence or something. One, well, one, two, three wide. This one is three plus plus, I think. It's actually more like four or five. Because I remember I tried to put this one closer and this one may also be wider because of the roof. Sometimes it's hard to see exactly how big these buildings are. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, tier reward. Oh, we leveled up somehow. Oh, 18 hearts gained. Lots of happy dinos. That's good. Okay. People are happy with the clean cleanliness. Um, they had my favorite dinosaur species. I named my first child after Captain Pirate. <laughs> I hope you're amused by this. I am certainly very amused. <laughs> Thumbs up for baby dino Zephyr. Oh, this is so nice. The food was amazing. I'm a prince. Can you help me get my money? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. Why is no one mentioning the huge poop? I already did. Thank you very much. <laughs> I named my first child after Harold. Nice. Oh, cool. Best species of them all. Aw, that's nice. Okay, so people are quite happy with being here. We sold 27 cotton candy today. Nine burgers were eaten. 11 junk was picked up. Uh, we got 18 hearts. This is great. Let's look at... Okay, let's start with our portals first. And we'll do our daily portals. And then we'll go to the other stuff. Okay, there we go. Got this, got this, got that. I think that's it. That's all we rated for. Oh, that's very tasty. Check that out. Okay, no more crosses left. Aha, we have one there. All right, nice. Um... Okay, let's explore a little bit. We have one there, of course. All right, now we gotta go and... That's it, all right, return home. Go ahead and open another portal. Science, what do we wanna buy? Oh man, there's so many things. Shade packs, shade tier three glass pergolas. Okay, and that just ends right there. 
TV. What is this TV? Unlock TV to attract TV something. Oh, now this is a this this can be improved. We should move this. Uh, hopefully this thing maybe go down a bit or somewhere. It's got to go somewhere so we can read what this says. Um, I guess attract more visitors to the park. That's probably on the outside of the park. So let's buy that. Looks good. Horticulturist master. We were looking to get to this epic gem at some point. It costs 4,000. Wow. Yeah. You know what? We're going to get it. A blimp. Well then. Well, attract more visitors. Okay. A double wooden bridge, mailboxes, fancy wooden arches. These are those cones and stuff. Photo booths with stuff. Basic playground. I quite like that idea. We don't have enough science. We'll have to leave it for now. Right. Vegetarian level carrots. Large feeder for vegetable eaters. I think that might be good for um, helping out our, our uh, veterinarians. Stump feeder, ball feeder. Wow, that could be good too. Oh, party pack one. Oh, I thought this was under those. I just didn't look at the lines. Okay. Space glasses, metal fences. We should get the ball feeders. Those sound fun. Um, 13 and 12. Ooh, we can get sauropods soon for 60 hearts. Wow. Tiny dino besties. I almost thought it said beasties. Oh, these are quite good. Um, you see, they give three different uh, items instead of just two. Like these just give two traits or two happiness thingy-majingies. Um, I might have to get, are there better like houses for big dinos too? Ankylosaurs. Oh, I really want Ankylosaurs. They are so cool looking. Um, I mean, I mean, I haven't seen them in the game yet, obviously, but uh, in real life. Flat rock shelter. Oh, here they are. Shed shelters. These are for the medium dinosaurs. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go along this track, I think. What did we just get? Wire fence. Cone of shame. <laughs> That's another hat thing. Sand pack. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, and Ornithod originals. Right. Chain link fence. All right. Well, we'll have to get them things. Ankylos or admirers. Chicken dumplings. So odd. Plexiglass electric fence. I don't think I even know what that means. All right, shed shelters. Those are for medium dinosaurs. Oh, here's large dino love. Oh, look at that. Barn shelters. Okay, so we have to go into... Oh, no, these are... So... Oh, you know what sauropods are, though. Those are going to be the brachiosauruses and hopefully the brontosauruses one day. Oh, I don't know what to get. Ankylosauruses or, or the brachiosauruses. We can't have, even have a shelter for them yet because... Um, those are big animals, and the shelter's quite at the end of that um, thingy majingy. All right, how are we doing on animals here? We're, we're doing okay, maybe. I want them to kind of hatch and have a nice time. But what we do need to think about doing is adding more dinosaurs here. So let's check this. Right, we've got plants. How much do we have in plants? 51. Right. Now these guys, uh, you know what I could do though? I could figure out how much is between these two enclosures. This is 1080, this is 1350. Hmm. These guys need, what I could do is just combine them into one exhibit. And I think I might just do that. Info, they need 420. So if I, if I just get out my calculator, um, and I think I know what this is, but 420 times 4 is 1680. But you never do math on YouTube without a calculator, by the way. It's it's very bad. Um, I think we can probably put these guys in a box and then just extend this over. I think that's probably our best bet here. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys tranquilized. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. Trank. Oh, I don't have enough security. You know what? I'm going to hire an extra security person just in case. I kind of worry about that sometimes. Okay, go away. Thank you. Security. Let's go ahead and have... Probably speed and ability is pretty important. Let's go and take fire. Go ahead. Go away. And go here. 
Oh, and it reset the view again. I That is something that's quite annoying. Alright, you're going to be tranked as well. Oh, did I already do this? Probably. Okay, here we go. Get, get in the inventory. There you go. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I'm just going to combine these exhibits all together. Um... Are you getting tranquilized? I think you are. Sorry. Life is bad for you, I know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these plants because it's gonna be a pain in the socks to move them all over. Um, or maybe I should, I don't know. I could move them here, around here. But then I would have to kind of make um, the enclosure again. All right, let's just go ahead and delete some of these things because I wanna put the other um, enclosures here. Okay, so let's just delete these things, these tires. I don't think we're going to need these tires. I think, and I don't think they're going to be good to play with for the dinosaurs. I don't know, but I don't think so. Are you getting tranquilized, please? Come on. Get going. I thought we were already doing this. Okay, so these guys... And then these guys are pure Triceratops. Okay, so let's go to town and buy a Triceratops egg. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just put that right into the enclosure. Just have this hatch. There we go, there you go, have fun. Now then, okay, you're all, you're ready. Okay, good, we got that together then. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to delete these things. It's just too much annoyance to bother with, honestly. Otherwise, keep the rest. Um, can I remove these guys? Oh, I can. Wow, okay. These it has to be removed anyway, so... Oh, well then. That's interesting how the, uh, the landscape changes color. That's kind of funky. Right, so this is going to be grasslands. We need to make this grass... Uh, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just make it identical or to the right kind of biome. Well then, I really didn't want to do that. <laughs> I get some kind of busy bee achievement. Well then, that was not what I wanted. But that was kind of cool. It's now a taiga. <clears throat> I wonder if these count for some kind of... Uh, um... Plants, maybe? Do they count as plants? I don't know. So now it's um, totally not good. All right, grasslands. That's, that's what we want to do. I chose the wrong kind of grass. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so this is taiga. This needs to be... We're looking for rainforest. So this is quite too high for here. So we need to smooth out the landscape in terms of the uh, terrain here. Latin. By the way, I love the music. It is so pretty. It's just really nice. Okay, we're just going to flatten a lot of this. Right. And we're going for what again? Sorry? Rainforest. Right. So we need to definitely flatten all this stuff out here. Okay, we can we can actually add a little bit more. Funny enough. Okay, now we need to add more water. And we'll go ahead and do that and just join these areas together. Okay, to make it a rainforest. Go right in the middle of this. There we go. All right, and we have one include one um, sleeping place here, so that's quite nice. All right, it's right in the middle of rainforest. All we need are the trees and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. These are forest trees, and these guys. Okay, so these we got these like gigantic oaks and apple trees and whatnot. Those kinds of things. I'm gonna try to add them in places where. It's going to look natural, and they're going to kind of combine these areas together. 
Small apple trees. Okay, cool. It's interesting that it automatically changes depending on what area I put the trees in. I didn't realize that I actually had gone over to the side there. It's kind of funky. Nice. Okay, so now we want bushes. What kind of bushes did we have over here? Were they the three bushes or they were little daffodilly things? Okay, they were daffodils. <laughs> right. It's uh, interesting. Okay, plenty of those already. And we'll get some rocks. What kind of rocks did we have? Do we have the spiky? No, we had the roundy rocks. Okay, cool. These guys here. Oh, very nice. Okay, excellent. So all we need to do is tear down the, uh, the border and it's good. Can I do this? Smashy smashy. Hello. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. No, no. Please. No. Right. I have to be more careful. 19,000 in exhibit donations. Wow. All right. Let's do our dig. Our nightly dig. And go here. That was quite nice. Oh, cool. Oh, that was excellent. Look at that. That was pretty darn awesome. Uh, this one goes here. Okay, we've got a couple of single tile thingamajiggies. There we go. Here, anything? Nothing? Okay. Wow, all kinds of stuff showing up at the moment. Nice. Okay, one, two, three, four. Ah, there's something here, gold. I'll take it. And then the rest, how many is left? One item is left. Oh, here it is. Boom, very tasty. All right, excellent. So we'll return home and then open another portal. Might as well. Science, what do we got here in science? Um. Ooh, we were going for, we got the epic gems. Maybe the basic playground sounds quite good. Wow, 5,000 science in one day. That's amazing. Um, yeah, let's get the T-Rex fountain. Might as well. All right, and that's good for science. Uh, Heart-wise, hmm. Very tempting to get either the Ankylosauria or the Sauropoda. We'll have to decide once we get enough of these things. Let's go back to our... Um, yeah, our thingy here. Digging ticket sales. Oh, they gave us the dig thing. Unless that was from yesterday. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, food and drink, I think, is up. Seems up. Okay. And uh, looking good. Looking really good. Only three super happy dinos. I wonder why. I wonder if, like, we don't have enough caretakers. Let's go ahead and hire another veterinarian. I'm kind of worried about maybe there's, like, a not enough people to feed them or something. Mm-hmm. Heal and take care. Clean up exhibits. Actually, Walladir, Walladir uh, looks like a great uh, person. Let's see. Sows, Romadir. Personality. I'm wondering if personality is important, too. We could even have one person, like Romadir, that would be just his his only job would be like socializing with the dinosaurs maybe let's go and look at park info uh staff and roma deer can i click on him no probably not okay so i think we have to wait to the next day but it is time to end the episode alas for now uh so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time